Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and this is your uh, spiritual guidance reading. We are doing a pick a card. I am using the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal deck along with my uh, tarot deck, the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Um, I am just basing it with the intention of general guidance. I am picking up for some of you that there's a sense of something that you didn't know was possible is coming possible now. You're seeing a new possibility. You're like, I didn't know that was available to me before or I didn't know that was possible or that way of doing something. There's something that you wanted to do, but you didn't know how. And now spirit is showing you a way Okay, showing you a new way of doing something. That's what I'm picking up for some of you, okay? So please just... I feel like there's a lot of synchronicities. There's a lot of spiritual guidance at this time. Maybe because there's a lot of planets going on in uh, Pisces at this time. So I feel like there's a goal that you want to reach. There's something in you're seeing like a oh i'm getting this like moment of like oh i didn't know that like somebody tells you or you see something and you're like i didn't know that was possible like a new way of doing something okay we'll do three i wanted to do two so there's a mo there's some type of hesitation for some of you okay at the bottom, we do have the Nine of Cups. That is beautiful. That is wish fulfillment. That is luck, abundance coming your way. There is a change in the wheel. Okay. Um, there's just emotional contentment happening for some of you here. Or for most of us, actually, since it's the, the bottom card of the deck. take a deep breath like always these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind my email is always listed in the description box below along with my um email for personal readings and my instagram as well thank you to all of you who have gotten a reading with me i am really busy this week um and i was gonna say that right now don't get don't lose don't lose sight of what you want because the details are not in order or the details i feel like someone okay this is what i'm getting i feel like some of you are seeing something like i said you're seeing a new possibility there's something that you're like oh i didn't know that was possible but n then that you get that now that you know that there's a sense of like okay wait how am i gonna get there yeah like i know that's possible but how am i gonna get there and spirit is saying don't get caught up in the details especially right now with pisces Pisces energy here. Don't get caught up with the details because Pisces is not about details. Like I said, um, the success card just flew out. Whatever it is that you want to do, you will be successful. Don't doubt it. You may not know all the details. You may not know exactly where you are going. I mean, you know where you're going. You just don't know how you're going to get there. Okay. And I feel like during this time, during this, all this Pisces energy, you're being called to just have, hold on to that vision, hold on to that idea, hold on to that goal without worrying, worrying about all the details, without worrying about how you're going to get there. Okay. Don't worry about the little things. Okay. Don't get nervous or anxious. Now I got a tummy ache and I don't know why. <laughs> so some of you are really nervous, are really anxious. Okay, and spirit is saying, no, 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 no. You're just supposed to hold to the, hold on to the vision, hold on to the idea, hold on to that dream of yours. Okay, that will be more powerful. When the time is right, you will know exactly how to go about that thing that you want to accomplish. At the bottom, we have compromise. Yep, compromise by not not being too worried. On the details don't be too worried about the details okay let the de especially if you're a virgo or you have mercury in virgo because mercury is how we process things right uh, how we process our information how we think you're gonna have a harder time letting go i have those placements i have mercury in virgo so i know what it feels like to be like oh, i need to know the details i need to know what's going on i need to know how things will come about 
I need to have a plan. And spirit is saying, nope, you just need to focus on what you want to manifest. Okay, focus on your manifestation. Just hold that vision and then the rest will follow. Okay, so let's get started. Like always, the timestamps are listed in the description box below in case you just didn't want to hear the whole um, <laughs> the whole spiel here. So let's get started. For option one, we have, let's see, the Four of Cups. That came out yesterday in my Instagram. If you've been, um, if you're there and you got this card again, then that message is really important for you. The Four of Cups is all about um being bored being discontent okay being you're being like i want to go outside i want to go outside but it's raining you know there's something that you want to do uh, and spirit is saying it's not the right time just hold your vision like i said hold your vision um really assess where you want to go without holding on to the details and when the time is right then you will be able to move forward with your plan with your goal i'm also getting here that this is a time to nurture yourself with the cups the cups need to be filled i feel like you need to refill your own cup you need to get the rest get the um, nurturing that you need in order for you to move forward so during this time yes things don't seem to be moving forward it seems like there's not a lot of offers there's not a lot of of opportunities out there for you and so you're bored you're not content you're just like oh i don't know but spirit is saying wait What's going on here is that you're replenishing your energy, you're replenishing your emotions so that once the storm clears, you're able to move full speed ahead, okay? And four is all about stability, it's about putting in the hard work. So you're feeling like, I want to do this, I know I can do this. I'm getting like someone saying, if spirit just would let me do the work, I'll show spirit like I could do it, okay? That's what I'm picking up on. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. There's something that you want. You want that stability. You want that Ten of Pentacles. You want the whole deal. You want the car, the house, the business, the legacy, the the recognition, the success, the abundance. And Spirit is saying yes, but wait, okay? Because some of you are like, I'm working really hard. I'm working really hard, but outside forces, outside things are happening that won't let me move forward. Won't let me get out of this this imprisonment that you feel that you're stuck in and spirit is saying wait wait you know wait <laughs> everything will come together for you okay just you need to be patient be like the cat here you know take a nap take a rest you know what does a cat do the cat just gets up to hunt and then goes back to sleep right to eat hunt and then goes back to sleep they play a little bit and then they go to sleep so be like the cat here be curious um really take the time to listen to your intuition to observe what's going on the cats to me really express intuition energy okay that that high priestess energy and spirit is saying listen to your dreams listen to your intuition at this time to your emotions okay you will get that ten of pentacles that you want but not right now you're just being paused for a second and it's not like the hanged man well i will tell you like you know what um you're going to be there for a while. No, it's just the four of cups. Okay. It's just a lot of you. There is this like you want this ten of cups. I mean the ten of pentacles energy. But there is a sense of boredom within you. You're just you've lost your passion. You've lost that drive. And spirit is saying you need to reconnect with the drive. The reason why you lost that passion. You lost that drive is because you're working too hard. Okay, you're working too hard. You're not resting. And Spirit is saying, yeah, you want that Ten of Pentacles. You want that new beginning. It will lead, right? Tens are about endings and beginnings. So you might be right in the middle of an ending and a new beginning. And Spirit is saying, that's why there's a discontentment where you're just like, I don't know where I stand. Am I still in the ending phase or am I already in the new beginning stage? For some of you, you're still at the ending stage. And that's what's driving you crazy because you see the possibility, like I said, you see the new way of doing something. You see the new vision. And you're just like, why can't I get there? You know, it's like you're here and you see that new, that like let's say that thing up in that mountain. And you're like, how can I get there? I want to get there. Why am I still here when I want to be over there? And Spirit is saying, wait, wait, okay? Wait. The crow. How beautiful is that? Intuition. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to the magic around you. 
okay do you keep hearing rest 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 do you keep hearing yes you have the stability you have that goal just you're being called to bide your time for a moment to rest to replenish your energy okay here it's represented by air of course and it's all about spirituality and being being watchful again i got that with the with the cat it's about you know watching everything seeing how things play out it's not about taking action right now for you at least for group one it's about really observing what's going on what's going on i'm getting that song um what's that song it says what's going on outside and I say, hey, 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 what's going on? Uh, like, I want to sing, but no, nobody wants to listen to me sing. So, no, <laughs> I think it's by, um, I don't have my tablet here. Oh, man, I'm trying to remember who she is. Yeah, so it's spirit, basically the, the meaning of the song is just basically you're just being like, what's going on you know what's going on outside exactly what's going you know because it's raining outside and you're just like i want to go outside i want to go play i want to do this thing but you're just being called to no wait there's things going on outside that you don't know that's why you're being called to stay inside so if you feel called to listening to that song i will try to put it in the description box hopefully if i can remember it if you want to listen to that, maybe there's a special message for you guys there. But the crow is all about paying attention to the magic and being in touch with your spirituality. And I feel like by you taking this time off, the answers that you seek will come through taking that time to connect with your spirituality. It's very important for group one. Get more information. Yeah, there's something. And I feel like the information that you're going to get is going to come through you taking time off. Okay. To taking time off here. And then we have angel of diet and nutrition. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. Okay, so I'm picking up two things here. For some of you, you do need to watch your diet, what you're drinking, what you're eating, says the person here who's drinking Pepsi. <laughs> um, but um, for some of you, you have to, what I'm getting specifically is pay attention. There are signs, there are synchronicities all over. And I feel like you need to reconnect. That's what they're saying. Reconnect with your spirituality because they're telling you, if you pay attention, you will get the information that you are seeking, that you are needing. Okay. And again, your intuition knows best. You intuitively know what is good for you. So you're feeling that already at an intuitive level. That you need to take a rest. Okay? So don't force anything to happen. And for some of you, definitely watch what you're eating and drinking. Okay? I love coffee. So <laughs> coffee, Pepsi, Coke, all that stuff. So now for option two, we have... Let's see. Ooh, another four. So interesting. Another four. So maybe you guys are seeing a lot of four, four, fours. Okay, and that's your angels telling you, hey, we're right here with you. You're not alone, okay? And also the 4 for fours is about you're closed off to something. As a group one, it's like they couldn't because there's outside forces. With you guys, it's more like you don't want to. You're like, nope, I'm comfortable where I'm at. I'm not going out. I'm not putting myself out there. I don't want to. I don't want to open myself up to nothing. You're hoarding on to something. You're holding on to something. And spirit is here. Wow, the star card. Spirit is saying you need to heal that. You need to heal the fact that you don't want to put yourself out there. You need to heal yourself in the sense of like put down your walls. Let people in. Show yourself who you really are. Show the world who you are. There's a wish trying to come in for you here with the, with the star card. But you're holding on too tightly to the idea of this dream, to the idea of this wish. And again, this is coming up... Like I said at the beginning, if you skip the introduction, there is this of we're focusing, we're, we're seeing this idea, we're seeing this goal that it's coming about, but we're holding on to the details. And spirit here, especially for group two, is saying, let go of the details. Okay, let go of the details. 
Don't be too detail oriented. Don't be too nitpicky. Don't be too nervous. Okay. Just trust, have faith. You are being guided. Also, there's a lot of healing happening for you at this time. Drink more water for group number two. I am picking that up. You need to drink more water. There is a spirit guide that is coming for you. I wouldn't be surprised if in a couple of days you tell me, you know what, JJ, I had a dream with the spirit guide. I feel like we're having right now, all of us mostly, but I feel for group two, I haven't looked at group three, but I feel like there is a teacher coming into your life. This teacher could be an Aquarius for some of you, for others of you, this is just a spiritual guide, okay, through your dreams or a spirit or an angel is coming to you and it's going to, he's going to make himself known, okay, this, this entity, the spirit guide is going to make themselves known. You won't be able to miss it, okay, and I feel like you're going to be seeing the signs all over, all over to the point where you're just going to be like, okay, I get it. I get it. So this person is very insistent, this intuitive. If this is a person, this person is going to be very upfront with you. And it's going to get to the point where you're just going to be like, oh, like I didn't, I really didn't want to hear that. Or this person is very rude and cruel. <laughs> That's how you're going to take it. But it's not that. They're just being messengers, right? Just don't, don't shoot the messenger here. For some of you, this is all about in spiritual form. So the spirit guide is going to tell you the same message over and over again until you get to the point of like, okay, I get it. I need to do that. Okay, I got it. So you won't be able to miss it. And the cobra is all about that. It's fire. It's change. What are you transforming? And I feel for some of you, you're transforming your ego. You're transforming your boundaries. You're transforming who you are, how you present yourself to the world. What are you letting go of? There's something that you're hoarding. There's something that you're letting... You're, you're very fear-based here. And Spirit is saying, no, you need to trust more. You need to open up. You need to be open to being receptive. And Spirit is really nudging you. Is really guiding you here, okay? For some of you, I'm getting like, you want to shine. I don't know if this is in regards to like singing and dancing or anything that puts you out there in the public eye. But Spirit is saying, how do you want to shine when you're not showing yourself who you really are? You have to be comfortable with who you are first in order for you to be comfortable to be in the spotlight. That is what I am getting. I don't know who that is for. With the Cobra car, like I said, it's all about waiting. Okay, waiting. You see a Cobra? Have you ever seen a Cobra? You can put YouTube videos there. They wait. They observe. Again, we get this energy with both number one and number two. We're getting this energy of like we need to wait. We need to assess. When there's this waiting period. Okay, it's not a permanent, but we're like realigned. We're being realigned. It. We're being realigned with our, with our spiritual path here for many of us. And I feel like spirit is just making us have the sense of like going inside and being. Like, okay, is this where I really want to go? What do I need to change in order for this wish fulfillment to come in? And so really, it's about watching. Just watch what's going on around you. Watch the synchronicities. What are they telling you? Pay attention to the signs. I'm also getting here with the cobra. It's about going inwards, like I said. Okay, and then the cobra is all about the teacher. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And guess what? The teacher is here for many of you. Okay. Um, some of you, you want to do teaching. Maybe you're just like, this is what I want to do. All of a sudden you have a realization of like, this is what I need to do. I need to teach. That's why you want to be in the public eye. Well, spirit is saying, okay, you want to teach? Well, there are certain things you need to let go of first in order for you to be comfortable to be put in the spotlight. Okay. In order to become a teacher, you need to heal some aspects of yourself first in order to heal other people. And that goes about if you want to be in the healing business or you want to be in any type of profession where you're being called to help and guide other people, you need to deal with certain wounds within yourself, okay? And the teacher is showing up for you, for some of you. A very powerful teacher. And this teacher, I feel like <laughs> what I'm getting with this teacher, like this teacher is going to be pressing buttons, okay? It's going to be pressing your buttons and it's not, some of you are not going to like it. But I'm getting that no matter what you try, Spirit is saying they just won't be able to get rid of that teacher because that teacher is meant, you're ready now. You're ready. So this time for you guys is all about, yes, waiting for this wish to happen. But meanwhile, this wish is coming. You are being asked to kind of learn something. And this teacher will step in for you. Meanwhile, your, your wish comes, okay? So um, let's see. Improve. Yeah, this teacher will come to improve. For some of you, if you've been dealing with health issues, if you've been feeling a little bit sick, Spirit really wants you to know that, hey, you are healing. Your health is going to improve. 
Um, for others of you, I feel like this teacher will come to improve something within you because there's a lot of the force to me are all about, again, the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen there with your emotions because you've closed off your heart and spirit is saying, no, it's time for you to reopen it. Again, I'm getting like, if you want to be in the spotlight, you need to reopen your heart chakra. Okay. And then we have angel of clearing your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. Yep. Things are improving for you. The signs are there. Just once the teacher comes, everything will start falling into place. I feel like this teacher, this guide will help you put the pieces together will reveal an important thing that you've been wanting to find or you've been wanting to reach with a star card here okay there's a lot of healing this teacher will bring in a lot of healing for you and therefore bring a lot of clarity into your situation because i feel like this teacher will clear the confusion away okay oh i'm cold Let's see. For some of you, I got like your cat will be your teacher. I know it sounds bizarre, but let me tell you, cats can be teachers too. So let's see. For group number three, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow, a painful ending. Painful ending that you're going through a difficult situation or... You will soon be going through an ending. For some of you, this is a difficult change. A very painful change. You're in a dark moment right now. You're in the dark uh, the dark night of the soul, I'm hearing. Ooh. Okay, group number three, you're mentally just really confused. You're really confused. You're really worried about something. You're stuck in this Ten of Swords energy and Eight of Swords energy. So I feel like there's something very difficult going on that's keeping you stuck. That is keeping you. It's even affecting your health. And I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, you're not really stuck. The situation will improve. You will get out of the situation. The good thing about the Ten of Swords is that you're at the end of it. It doesn't get any worse than that. Um, what's coming up now, it's the Ace of Swords. So it's a new mental uh, beginning for you. Um, I also see that you will be victorious out of this situation. I feel like there is guidance all around you. You are not alone. There are messages of comfort and of love that come to you. I Hopefully nobody lost anybody. This is a person mourning someone, mourning the death of someone very near and dear to them. But there is a sense of like... The light will come again, okay, with the yellow here. It's like the sun will show up again for you. For some of you, this may be your mother that you've lost. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully not. But there's a difficult situation here, a difficult ending, a difficult cycle coming to an end, but it's keeping you stuck with the Eight of Swords. You're too stuck in, in how... You're too stuck in the pain, okay? And it, depending what it is, again, if you're mourning someone, if you just recently lost someone, it's completely understandable. I'm not saying that your pain is not valid by any means. Um, if something is leaving your life, if something ended like a relationship, like a job, anything like that, it's okay. It was meant for you to end, for that situation to end. It was not healthy for you there was something about it that was not good for you okay wow the night gal see there's a darkness again the light will come but i feel like you feel a complete darkness group number three you're really not you're not in a good place there's a lot of blue so there's a lot of healing that needs to take place here a lot of healing there's a message like i said there's a messenger there are messages coming your way Okay. The night gale here is represented by air. Air too. So you have a lot of air energy. You might be an air sign or your thoughts really are all over the place. You don't have mental clarity. You feel stuck. You feel confused. You feel hopeless. I'm even getting that energy here. You might be even be depressed, not wanting to get out of bed. Uh, for others of you, I am getting that this situation is affecting your health. It's affecting um, 
you don't even want to get up. I'm, I'm hearing like even just wake, getting up out of bed in the morning is it's very hard for you. And what I'm, I'm being guided to tell you is we've all been in situations like this and you will make it OK. You are not alone. And now I'm hearing that Michael Jackson song. You are not alone. <laughs> um, and just know that you, your spirit guides are always there with you. And you can always reach to them or you can always reach to me. Just email me. We can talk. You can message me on Instagram and I will be more than happy to help you or to, you know, just listening. Sometimes we just need someone to um, to listen to our to our pain and to give us an outside perspective on things. Right. Or to give us a glimpse of hope in this dark moment in your life. Okay. With the nightingale is all about your communication, your expression. It's all about your voice. Um, specifically in this deck is about singing, sound, music. So I don't know if this is something in regards to music and a music career, or something didn't go as planned with the Ten of Swords. Something just took a horrible turn of event, and you just don't know how to deal with it. And what I'm getting here is, um. I'm also getting here for some of you that music will be very beneficial for you, will be very healing for you. Messages will come through music, through sound. When you get into this moment of listening to music by yourself in the room or in the radio, messages will come through there. So pay attention to the messages, pay attention to the lyrics. Um, that's why I said Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone came really strongly and it's still, I'm hearing it in the background of my head right now, <laughs> my thoughts. So if that resonates with you, if you've been listening to that recently, just know that that is a song that is coming for you, okay? I just feel like you feel very alone. You feel very, uh, very l not lost because I wouldn't say you feel lost. I feel like you feel defeated. You feel like you are just, uh, I don't want to say this, but I'm getting like, you feel like a failure and you're not, but that's the energy that I'm getting that you feel that way. You feel like you're at the worst moment right now, but spirit is really saying that the sun will come out for you. Do not worry. Okay. Let's look at your other cards. And we have yes. So if you had a question, the answer is a yes. Okay. Yes, you will get out of the situation. Yes, there are better times coming for you. This is just kind of like, you know, we all go through these difficult cycles in our life and this is just another cycle. Okay. And Spirit is saying, yes, you will come out victorious out of this. Yes, you will do better. Yes, the situation will improve. Or yes to any question that you've had that you came into this um, reading. If you came in with the question, the answer is a yes. Okay. And then we have angel finances. So some of you, it might be that you know you are you are dealing with financial issues. You're dealing with something that is very difficult. Okay, maybe you're just like, I just got fired, JJ, and I don't know how I'm going to provide for my family, for my child, even food for the next day. I don't know. I don't see anything here and Spirit is saying, do not worry. They're working behind the scenes to make that money come to you, okay? Yes, it seems like everything's lost. It seems like there is no aspiration for tomorrow, but Spirit is saying, there is. Have faith. They are with you. And the, the sun will shine. There's a lot of yellow here. So the sun will shine again. And see how this person is in darkness? But see, again, it's being led to the mouth, to your words, so singing might be very beneficial for some of you, sound and music. And just know that you will receive the money that you need. You, you're, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, let me pull another card for you guys. I'm being drawn for this one. Because you guys are in a really bad place. I don't, yeah, you guys need to do something with... We have Santa. something with communication. There's something about communication and the night gale is all about that. So we have, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to feel safe and relax. Exactly. 
exactly so the worst is now behind you like i said with the 10 with the 10 is like you there's nothing worse coming no more okay the 10 of swords is telling me you're already at your worst or the worst already happened so there's it doesn't get any worse than that your the new beginning is right around the corner and spirit wants you to know if finances are an issue or your kid is or your kid is something of a concern you have a concern with your child with your family with your home spirit is saying do not worry you are protected you are safe and you can relax now okay and i feel like that's why that michael jackson song kept coming up because of 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 like you're not alone spirit really wants you to know that you're not alone okay they're they're with you they're with you they're helping you and guiding you and the messages there are are everywhere for you so i wish you the best take care of yourself i hope things get better if you feel like you need to talk to someone you can always email me um and take care of yourselves bye